Longjing is a name that is synonymous with Chinese tea. Longjing literally means dragon well, and it is in fact the name of the village that is at the heart of the tea's production. From a small boat on the waves, the beautiful scenery entrances like being surrounded by fine paintings. So a poet once wrote, who was describing a trip on a boat on Hangzhou's West Lake. There can be few things more beautiful in life than to take a boat out on West Lake and drink tea. In the water towns that lie just to the south of the Yangtze River, there is a popular saying, water covers the skin, which is full of water beneath. This is a reference to the local obsession with visiting a tea house every day to drink tea. During the Southern Song Dynasty 1500 years ago, the tea trade was at its peak in Hangzhou. A popular saying of the time went, of various teas sold according to the season, seven treasure tea is especially liked in winter. At the time, tea houses were scattered throughout Hangzhou. Their interiors were exquisitely decorated, and hanging on the walls were calligraphy and paintings, many of them the work of famous artists. Tea houses were the place where writers, calligraphers and nobles came to meet, drink tea and talk. Hangzhou is surrounded by undulating hills, which are a major center of tea cultivation. Since ancient times, travelers to Hangzhou have made a special detour to a village called Longjing to taste the famous Longjing tea. Longjing tea and Tiger Spring are well known as the two wonders of the West Lake. From a distance, Longjing village resembles a bright jewel set in green. For those who want to know about tea, the people to ask are the tea farmers, whose families have been planting and tending the tea trees here for many generations. This it is said that one of the greatest pleasures in life is to drink tea in the Longjing Tea Pavilion. The sense of nature mingling with the fragrance of the Longjing Tea and the pale green world of the tea trees in the distance evoke a sense of the past. But there are sound scientific reasons why Longjing Tea and Tiger Spring are so famous. The Longjing Tea Pavilion has been richly endowed by nature. And if the Longjing Tea Pavilion is heaven sent, then the Lakeside Tea House, the beautiful guardian of West Lake, has been carved by nature. The Lakeside Tea House is another place to sample the two wonders of the West Lake. Longjing 
。接下来呢，我就用凤凰三点头的这个冲泡方式来冲泡。那么为什么要用这个凤凰三点头呢？这个就是在我们茶礼中呢，是最高的一个礼节，就是表示对您远道的顾客表示三鞠躬的意思。China's tea houses are places of art and culture. For example, we make tea. We make tea when we come in. It's just like this. It's called tea and tea. How do you say tea and tea? You just say tea and tea. When you say tea and tea, you just say tea and tea. This is tea. Because the whole Chinese culture is a inner culture. I'm very good with you. 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 尊敬和敬爱，那么茶呢是特别符合中国人的精神，中国人的一种一种一种表达，呃，爱的一种方式。The art of pouring tea also expounds the essence of Chinese culture. The water is known as the mother of tea. So what is its father? Foreigners call the country China, which means porcelain. And this is the father. The tea container is called the father of the tea. When night falls, you can flee from the cold steel and concrete jungle and find a cozy paradise away from the hustle and bustle of the city. In a tea house, a lightly scented cup of tea can bring past memories into the modern life and suddenly light up your world. This is the experience the tea house owners are seeking to create. 在九九年的时候开这样一家茶馆，很多人很震撼，就是说，因为原来看这些艺术品只能在博物馆里面看，它可以在一个普通的消费场馆看，其实就是展示中国人五千年生活方式的这么一个地方。它浓缩的一些片段，透过这些片段，让大家很直观地感受到五千年来的各个民族、各个时期的中国人的生活方式。当时我们取这个核茶馆。的名字也是因为收藏了这么多的古典艺术品之后，对中国人的世界观和价值观的认可，中国人的生活态度透过这个河表达出来，中庸平和。Apart from the collections of antiques from different dynasties, there are also exquisite items of jewelry. There are hung on the walls and placed inside small glass frames. Customers who take a fancy to anything can buy it. Tea houses are places where memories are passed from one generation to another. In this world of tea, people keep many memories of tea. Tea houses are places where the soul of tea can be found. Hangzhou today is covered with various tea houses, art tea houses, scenic tea houses, rural tea houses, and community tea houses. There are tea houses that mix ancient art with a modern temple, as well as tea houses with a rich flavor of the past. Hangzhou's tea houses are a window through which we can view the city's social economy and cultural life. There are also places where we can enjoy the city's beautiful scenery and ancient lifestyle. Charlie Me is a man with an even temper. He is neither subservient nor arrogant. He also has a passion for art. In this romantic world, he has an indispensable role to play. As time passes, tea houses have become his cultural messenger. Even foreigners, nothing they don't know, to China, they just see the sky. So how do you get into the Chinese culture? 
，特别简单，你就从第一一杯绿茶开始。那么你当你走进茶馆的时候，你就会想，哦，中国的门是这样的，啊，中国的墙壁是这样的，啊，因为在往往在茶艺馆里是，中可体现中国文化的。而且每一步你问的都是非常经典的中国文化。而且西湖龙井茶，跟我们新中国成立以后的一些重大事件又连在一起。比如当年中美联合公报在杭州起草，呃，我们周恩来总理就把西湖龙井茶送给基辛格。呃，美国总统尼克松访问中国，又把西湖龙井茶送给尼克松总统。China is the home of tea. The Tea Museum in Hangzhou is the only official museum in China that reveals the past history and current state of tea. Tea was originally used as a medicine. 1,200 years ago, the Tang Dynasty tea master Lu Yu wrote a famous book called The Classic of Tea. In part, it reads, Water can quench your thirst, and wine can drown your sorrows, but only tea can refresh your spirit. We don't need language because tea can tell us everything. We don't need music because the tea's fragrance is enough. We don't need decorations because tea remains the soul of the society. Hangzhou is a place of harmony. The contentment of a city's people is evident in tea houses. While Hangzhou boasts the most unique tea houses in China, the art tea houses on the West Lake are blessed with a heavenly quality that cannot be copied. This tea, the most essential thing, is the culture of the Xi'an Sui. This cultural heritage is very close. So, the tea house of Hangzhou is now the head of the Xi'an Sui. 咱们中国茶馆。